You know, when George Wagner, his brother Jake, and their parents were arrested and charged with killing eight members of the Roden family uh, six years ago, there were plenty of people who assumed the same thing, that it would be virtually impossible to find 12 Pike County residents who could serve as impartial jurors. Well, today, that assumption bit the dust. Nine women and three men will decide George Wagner's fate. Among them are a teacher, physical therapist, emergency dispatcher, and a business owner. The majority look to be in their 30s or early to mid-40s. During approximately eight hours of intense questioning yesterday and today, each juror was engaged and attentive while thoughtfully sharing their views on the law and the importance of justice being blind. While outside observers might have guessed that seating a jury in such a high-profile murder case would be next to impossible, Waverly resident Patsy Knight felt differently. A lot of people around here are very uh, fair and very, you know, understanding and they're, you know, they're going to be, they're going to listen to the facts and, you know, decide from that. Prosecutors say the facts point to George Wagner, his brother and their parents as the killers of eight members of the Roden family because of a child custody dispute six years ago. The murders happened in rural parts of Pike County, primarily on Union Hill Road, which is close to the Adams County line. That's one reason Knight isn't surprised there are 12 people who said they can be impartial as they listen to what the prosecution and defense have to say. Where they live kind of out away from here, a lot of people in this area probably didn't know them very well. I just think it's great that they were able to manage to have it here instead of having to take it to, like you say, Cleveland or Columbus or somewhere like that. Because in my opinion, I mean, it happened here and I think that it's important that it's settled here. Now, jury selection in this case uh, did take on added stakes because George Wagner IV still faces the possibility of the death penalty. That's expected to go away so long as his brother, Jake Wagner, who's already confessed, testifies in the coming weeks. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.